Well, here's a member of Let's Go Health that it's just been terrific. Uh, Pamela has just been sharing so much stuff with us, you know, uh, with the rest of us because it's so helpful because I mean, I don't have to do all the research. And so when they find something, like she found this uh, grant for business. Okay, now what's interesting, this is in Louisville, you know, but it tells you the kinds of things that are happening because they're using the same federal money that every state could use. So here's what Louisville's doing, and you have to find out what's in your state. Uh, but they're giving grants, and then see when you read this, then you you click on the. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing. There, there is. There's the uh, article that she found that explains the uh, program, the grant program in uh, uh, Louisville. And now what you want to do is then you got to find it because here it doesn't really say it mentions it. You got to do some reach actually Louisville's forward economic development office. So you have to find the economic development office of Louisville. And then you look for this grant. There it is. Small business COVID-19 relief grant. See, relief is another key word you want to know about. And when you go down here, look, at it's grants up to $50,000. Yeah. You know? So the money is still there, you know, because uh, <laughs> this is just a few days ago. Uh, and here it is. It's businesses that meet the following criteria. 20 employees or less at March 16th. So you could have a thousand now. <laughs> it doesn't matter as long as you had them then. Non-retail businesses of 50 employees or fewer, <laughs> but remain closed because of the COVID. Businesses that have been negatively impacted by COVID. Uh, there are very few businesses that have not been, unless you're a supermarket, right? <laughs> uh, businesses located in the Jefferson County. That's where Louisville is, okay? Businesses that must be in good standing with the Revenue Commission. You paid your taxes. <laughs> That's it. Okay, and here's where you can use the money for it. Payroll, so you can pay yourself or anybody else. So if you're one man person, you know, at home, utilities, lease or mortgage assistance, you could pay for that. Fixed cost, including debt service. So in other words, they, you can't use the money to pay off your debt. You could use it to pay the interest. <laughs> so that may be good. Also, business insurance or other fixed costs. And that's a little funky. I'm not sure what that is, but fixed cost could be maybe you have a car that you have to uh, do. Okay, technology. You Listen to this. You could pay for technology for online platform to allow online sales. So now you want to get more business online. So the money that it costs, you know, to do that, you could get that to use the uh, thing. Now, see, so that's right. These are popping up all over. I think they're a great opportunity for an entrepreneur or business. You don't have to be incorporated or whatever. Every program has a little difference. So you can't say until you see the prog program that you can apply for, that's the requirements. Everybody else, what I read you, or it doesn't matter what it says here. I'm just trying to give you a feel. So, you know, you don't have to be a big company, you know, that kind of thing. So if you're a small guy, one or, you know, 50, then go go take a look, you know, and, and that's what you have to do. Now, the other thing is, how do you find them where you are? Okay, now here's what I would do. Uh, and there's many things you can do. Go to Google and put COVID Business Grants Illinois. Okay, when you do that, look at what you get. <laughs> you get 28 million websites. Well, that's a little too much. And you got to get rid of all the garbage. And the garbage is really people are trying to sell you something. So if you go back to COVID big grants and then the state you're in and now put settings. Now down here on settings, you see advanced search. That's the magic thing you want to do. That gets rid of a whole bunch of stuff because here you just want the last month. Because these these COVID grants, they're gone within a month, two months, they're gone. But start at a month, find the new ones. That may you're sure they, they may have some money left. That's the important thing about these things, that the money goes. You know, remember the PPP program? All of a sudden that money went, you know, like a two weeks. So they had to do more and stuff like that. So that's why you don't want to be a left like that. And then the other thing, besides just using COVID business grants, try another one. Put COVID business relief. And you'll get more. Here's 105 before we only had 22. So it's the same thing, you know, uh, because you don't know what they're coding on it. You don't know what they're indexing on it. You got to use a lot of other words. You know, you could maybe just use assistance or something like that. Okay. Now, the other thing you should do if you don't find anything by doing that, then you should set up a, a Google Alerts. 
And a Google Alerts is google.com slash alerts. Now here, you'll get this page and you have to have a Google email account, okay, which is Gmail. So you have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have one, go set up a Gmail account, come back and put google.com slash alerts. And then here you put, you know, uh, COVID uh, business uh, grants, okay. And then you create the alert, okay? And this way with the options here, do you want it every day or every week or whatever? Uh, you choose. So we just create the alert. And what you do is you create two or three of these. You create one for COVID. This, oh, I see, you gotta put your state in here. So Illinois, okay. Then you do another one and, and you put COVID business uh, <laughs> assistance if you want, or, um, uh, <laughs> help <laughs> or whatever. You do a lot of bunch of things and see what comes up. It's a trial and error. What I know may or may not work. This is just a process. You have to figure out, this is all artwork, man. This is not just mechanical stuff and you don't have to think. You, you see, you even have to spell right. Otherwise it's not gonna go. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, N, O, I, S. I flunked English in college. I have two New York Times bestsellers. <laughs> Don't trust me with selling. So that's it. You're looking for a grant. I think this is the best opportunity because this stuff's coming out. People aren't uh, whole yet. Half the country is, is still underwater. You know, they're, they haven't come back to where they were. We have 30 million people that are out of work collecting uh, unemployment, and there's only 6 million jobs available. So you have 30 million, 6 million jobs. You're not going to get a job real fast. So you got to find these other sources of income, you know, uh, to do this, whether it's here or alternative sources besides regular jobs, which I talk about in, in the gig economy and things like that, freelancing. Uh, and I got a lot of help on that too. Uh, but even when they use me or not, realize it takes work. You're going to have to you know, put in the time, put in the hours. You know, I, nobody, me or anybody else, can give you one place to apply to, and you're going to get money and all your problems are solved. No, you'll pay ten thousand dollars to somebody, and that's why I used to charge ten thousand uh, dollars to people to do this. Rich people, <laughs> they'll pay anything, <laughs> and and I still it's not guaranteed. So that's why you have to learn yourself how to use this system. The system is for everybody. You got to learn the new school tools, like driving a car. You know, we used to ride around on horses. Everybody learned how to ride a horse. Now we have cars. You had to learn how to ride a car to get around. Okay. Now here, you got to learn how to use this sucker to get around. Good or bad, a lot of bad things with it, right? But how are you going to get out the good stuff? And that's why learning.